Okay, in the next problem, we have y equals f of x is a continuous function that satisfies this equation x to the fourth minus 5x squared y squared plus 4y to the fourth is equal to 0. And its graph contains the points 2 comma 1 and negative 2 comma negative 2. Finally, we're going to let L be the line tangent to the graph of f at x equals 2. And our first task is to find an expression for y prime. So I begin to differentiate implicitly the equation that I have there. The derivative of x to the fourth is 4x to the third. Then this next expression minus 5x squared y squared I'm going to have to use a product rule with. And I'll let 5x squared be the first function, y squared be the second function. So the product rule says 1 d2 and the derivative of y squared is 2y y prime plus 2 d1 so that'll be y squared and the derivative of 5x squared is 10x. Finally the derivative of 4y to the fourth is 16y to the third y prime and the whole thing is equal to 0. So I'm going to begin to simplify 4x cubed the next term will be negative 10x squared y y prime the final term will be, in, inside parentheses, will be negative 10xy squared. And then we'll add on to that 16y cubed y prime and set it all equal to 0. The next thing that I'll need to do is to combine the y prime terms together on one side and factor out the y prime and to move everything else over to the other side. So my y prime terms are negative 10 x squared y y prime and 16 y cubed y prime. I'll start with the positive one, factoring out the y prime. And moving over to the other side, I'll have 10 x y squared and minus 4 x cubed. All right, so I'll isolate the y prime now. And I have y prime is equal to 10 x y squared minus 4 x cubed divided by 16 y cubed minus 10 x squared y and dividing top and bottom by 2. I get 5xy squared minus 4x cubed over 8y cubed minus 5x squared y. And so that is the answer to part. In the second step, what I need to do is to write an equation for line L. And the slope of that line will be the derivative y prime evaluated at x equals 2, y equals 1. Sorry, when I simplified and divided by 2 in the previous step, I divided each of the terms by 2 except the 4x cubed. So please note that should be 2x cubed. So I'll make that change and continue with my substitution. Now when I multiply that all out, I'll get 10 minus 16 divided by 8 minus 20 which is negative 6 over negative 12 or 1 half. So that's the slope of the, of the tangent line. Since y is equal to 1, I have y minus 1 is equal to 1 half times the quantity x minus 2. And so that is the answer for b. But you could also write that in slope intercept form. And that would simply be y is equal to 1 half x. For part c, what we're asked is to give the coordinates of a point that is on the graph of f but is not on line l. So we want to point on the graph but not on the line. Well, how do the graph and the line relate to each other? Recall that if you have a curve and a tangent to that curve at some point, then the curve and the tangent line are equal to each other or have the same x and y value at the point of tangency. Now, it is possible that the tangent line could cross the curve at some other point, just depending on what the behavior of the curve is. So the way we would do this is set the two equations equal to each other, solve for their common x, y values, and then we know at which points they, which points are on both of them. Well, we already know that 2 comma 1 is on both of them, but there may be other points also, and then we'll just find a point that is on one and not on the other, and vice versa. And for this, I'm going to let y equals 1 half x be written as x equals 2y substitute that for x in the original. And when I do that and simplify, I end up with 0 equals 0. It tells me I have infinite solutions that f and l are coincidental. They lie on top of each other. 